Sometimes the science of medicine can be music to the ears. The Sentara Center for Music and Medicine incorporates music into clinical practice as a therapy to improve mood, manage pain, reduce anxiety, and bring about medical benefits as a result. There is no single art, and this is proven now, that stimulates as many areas of the brain as music does. What's the secret to that? The secret is that there is no center for music in the brain. There are multiple centers and they're scattered all over the brain. Presenting before a full house at the Kimball Theater in Williamsburg, Virginia, Dr. Kamal Shamali, a neurologist and medical director of the Sentara Center for Music and Medicine, explained the many ways that music is used to augment patient care and create a better healing environment. Uh, music therapy, because this is the way we could use music in order to achieve clinical responses. This is one way, okay? So we have a music therapist on board and this music therapist makes people with disorders of the neurological system improve. We are performing music in a medical setting, namely a hospital, for patients who have different kinds of disorders. It's not like in music therapy. In music therapy, we're targeting one disorder with one patient. Sometimes we do group therapy as well. But here in music medicine, it's a crowd you know, of 100 people sometimes. We have 100 different conditions and we play a certain repertoire to them. Obviously we're not achieving a particular effect to, to that but we are trying to create a sense of well-being, decreasing pain, decreasing anxiety, shortening the length of stay in the hospital and increasing patient satisfaction. So those are very important factors. Following his lecture about music and the brain, and true to the belief that music enhances every experience, Dr. Shamali introduced Prisca Benoit, a French concert pianist who serves as the artist-in-residence for the center. <laughs> 